Oh my god, does it feel good to be right. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. If you haven't already seen my other video, I highly suggest that you go watch it before this one so you know how right I am right now. I'm just gonna cut right to the chase. No lollygagging, no prancing around the subject. I was right about 2K24. For once in my career of YouTube, I actually was right <laughs> about something. And 2K24 has officially been deemed the worst game on Steam. It somehow managed to beat Overwatch, who got review bombed by like 180,000 people. Now I'm gonna keep this video a little, a little shorter, a little on the shorter end, because in all honesty, there's not much to talk about other than the fact that I was right about my previous video in saying that 2K24 is one of the worst games of the year alongside Overwatch and Diablo. However, Diablo has been kind of hovering around the mid-tier section where it's not really ass, but it's not really great. It's just kind of playable. Like you can move your thumbs and shit and it'll do stuff in the game, but that's, that's about it. However, the games that I just talked about that unironically happened this year were both Overwatch and 2k24 and both of them hold the first and second place spot for the worst games on steam if you think i'm joking you can go to any website that looks straight out of 1990 and uh, possibly get a virus but it's for the content so it's fine 2k24 is officially the worst rated game on steam alongside overwatch 2 and for some reason third place is war of the three kingdoms which i've never even heard of so i guess that speaks for itself now to go alongside uh, 2k24 holding the new title of the worst game on steam a bunch of the game devs have been scrambling to find responses to the player backlash as of right now this one right here is from four days ago from zach timmerman who works on 2k24 who uh uh, is giving a response to the backlash over the badge progression and uh, promises to adjust it uh, if that ever happens I guess. This one is from one day ago in response to community backlash about long rebounds. The one under that is from Mike Yang who is a director for NBA 2K who is also a very major massive <laughs> public figure for uh, 2K. Almost everyone knows Mike Yang who is responding to the difficulties in shooting and the absolutely broken half-court shots that still are a thing for some reason. And they've actually ruled out a new patch update temporarily to sort of adjust it, but I don't think that's the actual update that they plan on doing. I think they're actually going to come out with a full-on update to fully fix these problems. Uh, the patch, I think, is just a little tweak in the meantime Be before they can actually like fix it. Regardless, at least they're doing something that's always good to see. However, is it too late? Honestly, it's kind of hard to tell. With Overwatch, it was a little bit different because everyone was actively review bombing it, which, okay, yeah, it's a little skewed. However, the criticisms that people had over the game were completely justified, especially what I said, where Overwatch promised to have a bunch of content and then did maybe a fifth of that promise and it still somehow managed to be bad. So yes, of course, Overwatch being second place is a little bit skewed, and I understand that. However, that doesn't make it a good game. 2K has had only 5,000 players review this game, and the vast majority have said that this game sucks. Whether it's from the monetization, whether it's from the badge shooting, or the player backlash from rebounding, it's just a whole mess. The game isn't good, monetization is insane, and it's only seven days in. Obviously, can this get better? Yes. Is there hope for 2K? Judging on how past years have gone, no, they're gonna give up after about a month. Anyways, that's all I had for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe. It'd be greatly appreciated. Hopefully 2K can get better. I'm still not going to buy it, and I'm probably not going to buy the next year, and I'm probably not going to buy the year after that.